You might think that you can recognize a super yacht builder just by seeing one of their yachts. But if I tell you that this 38 meter classic gentleman's yacht, this 49 meter very futuristic looking yacht, and this 70 meter voluminous mega yacht were all built by the same company, would you be able to tell me who that company is? Well, I'm happy to say that I can tell you who they are. And this is my report back to you on Rossi Navi. I was reminded of what a great shipyard Rossi Navi are during a recent trip to Miami when my cab driver told me that we would be passing by the world's largest yacht on the way to the hotel. I whipped out my iPhone to take footage of the yacht, wondering how Dilbar had got over there from the Med so quickly. But what I saw was far from the world's largest, but certainly one of the world's most beautiful yachts called Utopia 4. Built, you guessed it, by Rossi Navi. The yacht was designed by a company called Team 4 Design, who I must admit I've not heard of before, but they've done an astonishing job of making a 63 meter, that's 207 feet long super yacht, actually look very sleek and well proportioned. Usually I'm very discreet to not mention owners' names of yachts, since they usually don't appreciate it. But in this case, the owner of Utopia 4 has done her own walkthrough video of the yacht, it's just a pleasure to watch. I'll put a link to that video in the description below, but the link will only appear after you've finished watching this video. Press the subscribe button and clicked on the bell to activate notifications. What about those yachts that I showed you at the beginning of the video though? This gorgeous 39 meter classic gentleman's yacht was launched as recently as 2015, and I had the pleasure of viewing her shortly before her delivery. The attention to detail that the shipyard showed in building this vessel was really impressive. The cabinetry was largely made from mahogany, which is in keeping with yachts built from the 30s, but also a special finishing was applied by brush to make it look even more authentic. The most memorable thing about the yacht though is the yellow funnel on her upper deck. This is not just a design feature and neither is it a functioning funnel. It's actually a beautifully designed piece of engineering that unfolds like a transformer to become a crane for launching the tender. I could just imagine how thrilled the owner must have been with that. Taransay is certainly not the biggest yacht that Rossi Navi have ever produced, but I'm quite sure that she has a special place in the hearts of all the workers who were involved in her construction. And if retro styling just doesn't do it for you, then you could hardly get more modern than this. The 49 meter all aluminum Fulvio di Simone designed Aurora. It may not surprise you to hear that this yacht was designed for a relatively young owner in his 30s, and he really did want to try to do things a little differently. The main deck has varying levels, so that the aft deck is elevated, giving more head height to the beach club below, and then a second aft deck at a slightly lower level is located for outside dining. The foredeck too has various levels and the owner can walk right out of his cabin, which is on the main deck forward and onto the foredeck where he can enjoy what's effectively a balcony onto the sea. It must be a wonderful way to start the day when you wake up. There is so much about this yacht that's worth mentioning, but let me tell you a little about the beach club that can convert into a cinema room. Apart from being set up for video games, which I have to be honest, I would certainly use if the yacht were mine, it can also stream live footage from a camera that's concealed in Aurora's distinctive looking bow. Apparently the design of this was inspired by a feature in a Marvel comic. Now I've been known to read a few Marvel comics in my time and I have no idea what comic may have inspired that feature. So if you know, do tell me in the comments section below.
from Rossi Navi's most futuristic looking yacht to their largest yacht to date. 70 meter long High Power 3 was launched in 2011 and I still remember when she arrived at the Monaco Yacht Show under her original name, Numptia. This is a highly customized super yacht designed by Studio Spadolini. She's a genuine world cruiser with a range of 7,500 nautical miles and space for 12 guests and 18 crew. The original owner was an experienced yacht owner and he was exhaustive in his brief to the shipyard of what he wanted. He had a large family, children, grandchildren, and wanted them to be able to socialize in different areas of the yacht rather than being stuck in their cabins watching the TV. I guess any of us who have children can identify with that. Possibly the most impressive thing about High Power 3 though, is that it's one of the first yachts that Rossi Navi ever built. Now, to explain, the Rossi family had been suppliers to the super yacht industry in Italy since the 1980s, building mostly hulls and superstructures for other yacht builders. Just over 10 years ago though, so not that long ago, they decided to start the Rossi Navi brand and to build their first complete large super yacht which was called South and was 55 meters long. Today, it's called Rarity. They made such a great job of that project though, and their reputation as suppliers in the industry was so strong that they were soon commissioned to take on this huge 70 meter project. I can't help wondering how they felt at the time, having decided to build super yachts and almost straight away being asked to build something so very large. I guess you can't always control the speed of the growth of your business. However, that yacht was built so well that since then they've been commissioned to build lots of other yachts of all kinds of sizes and all kinds of designs. And here's the point that I most want to make in this vlog. Rossi Navi is a full custom yacht builder. Now you can't decide if you like or don't like a particular builder of that kind based on one yacht that you've seen. Sometimes I hear people say I don't like Rossi or Turquoise or, or Lursen because they've seen one yacht that aesthetically doesn't appeal to them. You can say maybe that you don't like the designer because some designers do have a very specific look to their designs, but you can't write off the whole shipyard because what they're doing is building to a design brief that's been approved by the owner. If you're interested in building a fully custom super yacht, you should really start by deciding which designer you would like to work with and then looking at different custom yacht builders to decide which one of them can build to the quality and to the price that you're prepared to accept. I've visited Rossi Navi, I've met the family that own it, I know that they build to a good quality because I've touched and felt the yachts that they've built. I have to also say that they're really nice people to deal with. Whenever I contact them, they get back to me right away. On the few occasions I've been to their shipyard, they're incredibly hospitable. And I think, well, who am I to them? Nobody, really. I'm just a broker who hopes one day to be able to bring a client and sell a yacht that's built by them. And as a broker, I think to myself, well, if this is the way that they treat me, then certainly I feel comfortable introducing one of my clients to them. And talking about my work as a broker, I have to say that probably the only reason I haven't gone on at greater length about Rossi Navi is that at some point I do have to go and try to sell some yachts. I will be talking more about them in the future though, as well as presenting you with other great reports from the yachting industry. So if you have a passion for yachting, keep it alive by subscribing to my channel.